Hey guys, so I just wanted to come and um, shoot this video today. I just really talk about, you know, give you some perspective of what it's like to actually run a six-figure business. So if you want some help growing your business and, you know, you're tired of really banging your head against the wall and trying to figure this stuff out on your own, um, I recommend you go ahead and click on the link inside the description below. Um, it's going to have like a link to my calendar so you can choose a time to speak to me um, at a time to fit your earliest convenience. Now also what it has is like a form for you to fill out some questions just so that when we get on the phone I'll know exactly where you are right now and we'll be able to jump into the strategy to make sure that I can help you out. So it's funny, you know, when, when I was first getting started, um, this is even before I started my accounting firm in 2014. This is like back in like 2011, 2012. I was like, you know, coming into entrepreneurship and I was thinking like, you know, I, that, that was around the time when people were talking about like Facebook and Instagram, how all these like tech companies, they would start up, they would get like these billions of dollars in funding without really having any kind of revenue, or any kind of track record. I'll even kind of put an analogy. So oftentimes you, you'll see like, like a lot of um, people want to be like singers or rappers or dancers or musicians, right? And they think that just having the best product, so the best rap music, the best album, is the thing that's going to make them get famous. Versus whenever you hear someone who's like a really, really high level um, artist, for example, like a Rick Ross or, um, um, who are some good ones? Uh, Rick Ross is just the easiest one to kind of talk about nowadays because I was he wrote this documentary book. Um, and he was saying when he was coming up, he had these like great like skill sets. Like he would just be like having like these um, really fast lyrics. It would be like masterful, but no one really cared. And it wasn't until he actually made it more simple and made it for more of like a general mass market audience and really focused on marketing and building his fan base that he was able to actually start, you know, making waves and start getting successful. <clears throat> Listen to that story. It wasn't the craft, the craft itself did not, was not the thing that made him the billions of dollars. It was learning the marketing and the sales first that allowed him to be able to do that. See, most people are so focused on their craft and they're like the artists. They're trying to make it perfect, trying to get as great as possible, as perfect as possible. But they never go and get to the market. They never go and tell people about their business. They never go and try and ask people to, you know, give them money. So if that's you, I'll see you inside on the call. Um, if you're not quite ready yet, you know, that's okay too. Um, come back when you are ready. Let's get this thing moving. Um, until I see you next time, either on the call or in the next video, have a great rest of your day. Take it easy.